and there's where the uh, Love Corporation is now. Um, that was a farm supply uh, facility at one time with the elevator and rail service. And I'll, I'll cover some of these other buildings, which I don't know the history of, but I can tell which ones were rail served because the door's on the side. This thing on 2nd Avenue is obviously farm. Farm, there's an elevator, probably grain. And here's where the rail line would have ran. Probably the spur, and it goes all the way down, crossing first by the old dairy place. There would be a, a door right here to um, obviously load. There's two of them. And we'll further go check out the other buildings. Now this is part of that um, um, farm, uh, farm grain elevator um, that structure. That one, it had an elevator at one time. It went up in the air uh, back in the 65, but I don't know how long or the history on it, like what year and what years it's from and when it's to tore out or when they stopped using the building as the farm thing but now it's love incorporated you can see where the box cars they loaded box cars or cars or whatever um i'm imagining the rail service as well before 1970 and you can see some railroad ties where the tr uh, tracks would get, were on, and it would circle around to the main line down that road and um, switch off under the main line of TP and W's line. Now you now can't cut junction railway. They got a gondola with a scrap right now on the side. And there's the um, the depot for the t uh, old TP and W depot. On um, obviously, it's not the original. Who knows what was there before? What depot was there before um, before that one? This building on South First. I know it. When I was a kid, it used to be an uh, auction house. The old signs, the furniture, stuff like that. And you can see the rail right here from the sp that spur. And I, uh, further back, I'm not sure if this building was ever rail served. I don't even know what it used to be. Um, it's always been here when I was a kid. I used to play, play in this area, play in these rocks. I didn't know it was ballast, but across the street used to be a dairy facility. I guess milk, ice cream. Dad said they used to make ice cream there. And about a hundred years ago, maybe so, at the Ice House. I know at one time it was rail served by TPNW. I just don't know the years. And uh, towards Warrico, the spur line, when it went back to the railroad tracks, the main line for TPNW. The tracks are across First Avenue here. And here's the main line, now Keokuk Junction Railway. So, sorry I don't have more information, but I know some of these buildings along Railroad Street was rail served at one time, had a spur. Even at 2nd Avenue Crossing, the main line, there used to be three tracks, one to a siding, I don't know what the third one was. I'm taking that from a picture by somebody in 1978, so tr the three tracks are... Uh, uh, there in 1978, as for 
what year it's removed. I moved in this area around 87 and it's gone. Second Avenue used to have a, a brick street and there was a, a, a kind of a um, recycle center for for um, cans and all that in the 80s, not early 90s. I, uh, me and a friend went to uh, um, cash and cans, and the guy ripped us off. And my dad went down and straightened it out. So we ran to my dad, and he went and straightened it out. Like when there was bullies at, uh, bullying me and my friend at South Park, we went and got my dad, and my dad went and confronted him. No violence, of course, but I miss my dad. I wish he's still alive so I could ask him questions because he would know some stuff on this on this town. He lived there his whole life. There's some remaining of that um, that spur line that served that building. You know, I used to play in that alley, walk through it when I was a kid in the 80s, early 90s, and I never noticed that rail. Of course, I didn't pay attention to stuff like that. Interest change was in decades. I'm not sure if this building is served or not, but it's possible. There's uh, another rail up there at the front of the building that, that is still visible. Here's a picture of the, uh, the, the farm supplies elevator that was in Canton. The b building is Love Incorporation now, and the elevator that stood up to the top is no longer there. I mean, the building still exists, and the, the um, it was rail served at one time. There's doors on the side of it that would probably load boxcars. Uh, the, on the back end of the building, there's some um, railroad ties still there. Who knows when the tracks are pulled, probably 60s or 70s. And here's a 1965 Santa train, Canton, Illinois. Santa arrived in Canton Friday afternoon aboard a TP&W train, complete with a helper and a bag of, of goodies. He's... He uh, aligns at the local station, so the TP&W station off 2nd Avenue. And it's TP&W 800. The locomotive is at the Union uh, Railway Museum up in northern Illinois. It was like uh, from a railroad uh, on the east coast that was number 18, Morrison and Erie. I think it's still in the colors. They haven't repainted it at TP&W yet, as far as I know. And the Santa Claus is my dad, Bill May. The helper was my uh, uncle, Jim May. I mean, my dad was older than him by a few years. My dad was born in 1941. The engineer or conductor is behind him. I'm probably engineer. I don't know. I didn't know about this picture until after uh, dad died and we had to go through his stuff, so I kept this. I wish I, there's so many questions I wish I could have asked him while he was alive. But now I regret, especially about the coal mine and Canton history and what he would have remembered because he would have remembered so much more being born in 1941. He was a coal miner too and he worked at the Elm Mine in uh, Trivoli, Illinois. He would take Stone School Road at Canton to go up there and I think Texas Road to get to his mine or where they would park. I don't know too much. Uh, the coal mine, Elm Mine, closed in 1981. Not, not 1981, 1984. I was born in 1981, sorry. 
and the uh, the mine was uh, served by the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad along the old MSTL uh, railroad tracks. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and sorry if I made any mistakes and stuttered.